there will have to be a a, a provisional, as I said, uh, government in, in, in Kabul first. Uh, and this provisional government will provide the, the, um, the groundwork for, uh, for the emergency lawyer Jirga, and then later on an interim government uh, for a longer period, and, and then of course uh, the adop adoption of a new constitution and, uh, and by, by another regular lawyer jirga. And then beyond that, hopefully, elections. I mean, but the, as a first step, the important thing is to have a, a temporary political structure in, in, in Kabul in place. First of all, His Majesty cannot be marginalized. He's not marginalized. He's, he's favorite of the people, of the majority of the people of Afghanistan. So, I mean, that is, that is something that, uh, that is not an issue. Uh, secondly, uh, in the case of what Professor Rabbani says about a symbolic thing, I mean, I, I, we totally disagree with that. We think that the world community has expressed its opinion and the people of Afghanistan expect it to be, to be a genuine meeting, uh, a very substantive meeting to sort of agree on, on, on the future steps uh, for, for political normalization in Afghanistan, including a temporary uh, government in Afghanistan, uh, a provisional government uh, in Afghanistan. So it's not symbolic. It is, it is substantive, and, and we hope that will be the case. And if, if anyone tries to think otherwise, it means that they do not really want to refer to the people of Afghanistan and to the wishes of the people of Afghanistan. We all strongly believe in, in, in the rights of women as... as, as part of the Afghan nation and with, with every right that any other individual will have. So, I mean, they, they have the right for education, they have the right for jobs, they have the right for participating in the political process in Afghanistan and all the, the usual rights that people in normal societies have.